Hi. Welcome to Wednesdays with Winnie. I'm Winnie Dunn, Distinguished Professor of Occupational Therapy at the University of Missouri. We call our school Mizzou. The faculty at Mizzou are doing really interesting research, and you can learn about that in presentations and publications. Wednesdays with Winnie are designed to highlight evidence-based teaching tips that Mizzou faculty have found to be great options for professional education. They'll be quick. You can watch while taking a coffee break, and then you can discuss with a peer how you will move away from lectures and into engaged learning. Today, we're going to talk about a beginner's guide to reading a research article. We expect students to read many research articles throughout their professional program. Faculty are experienced at reading research articles. Students are not. We sometimes get disappointing results when we present students with articles that we love. We open a discussion in class and the students either have little to say or what they do say is shallow compared to the incredible insights that you want them to discover. As with many things, professional education has a gap between where the students are and where we expect them to be as they become occupational therapy professionals. Experts in a discipline, such as faculty, can lose track of how their own learning evolved, which leads to insensitivity about how to take the first steps to deep understanding. Handing novice learners a research article and expecting them to gain deep insights about the findings is an example of this insensitivity. Over this session and others, I will offer you ways to support students to learn how to gain insights from research. For today, we're going to discuss using a highlighted version of a research paper. Select an article that makes a point you want the students to discover. Highlight the phrases in the article that build towards the conclusion or the insight you want to emphasize in class. Only choose key phrases that build the case rather than highlight all the things you might highlight for your own study. Remember, you're an expert. Give the students this highlighted article as homework before a live session so they have time to read the article and consider your highlighting. In class, foster a discussion with two types of questions. First, you want them to consider how the highlighting changed their learning. Secondly, you want them to draw some conclusions from the story your highlighting tells. How did my highlighting change the way you read and understood the article might be a question. Or what hypotheses do you have about why I highlighted those passages? You might also ask, what story would you tell if you only read the highlighted sections? Or how does the rest of the article expand your understanding about what you saw in the highlights? By giving them a way to begin, your students will become outstanding consumers of the evidence and it will be more fun for you too. In which class are you going to implement the beginner's guide to reading a research article? And who are you gonna tell about this strategy? See you next time. You can find more resources at our website.